Okay, so I want to try something different this time on this video, uh, a little bit more fluid and less, less scripted. Um, I have a problem, uh, as you probably know, if you see this channel, if you've seen this channel before, I have too many cameras and too many lenses. And I kind of justify this in my mind as having two hobbies. I not only take photos, but I also like gear and I like collecting cameras and I have a lot of it. Now, recently though, since the traveling restrictions kind of eased out a little bit and we're able to travel after 2020, I've been pretty good about equipment on trips. I only take this when I go out on a trip. Um, it's a little hermit shell, not too big, fits in a backpack. And inside I have the Fuji X100V and the Ricoh GR2. This is the 16 megapixel APS-C from like 2014. These two cameras are basically everything I need for making photos in the street. And the way I use them, they are very different cameras. The Fuji I use very much in the same way that I used to use the Leicas. Um, I don't use the screen almost at all. I shoot through the viewfinder, I keep it in optical mode, and it's basically like a Leica with a 35 millimeter lens to me. Um, and it's a little bit more paused and more, um, more thoughtful, I suppose, uh, compositions and so on. The GR, and this is one of my favorite cameras, I think, ever. Uh, this camera I use in a lot more fluid way and it has, I guess it has changed my photography a little bit because of the way I, I shoot with it. Um, I carry the camera here even though I have this viewfinder, I don't use it too much. I have it because I like to, um, to use it sometimes but I like it to be there. But uh, mostly I carry the camera like this or here and I take photos without looking. The screen is off and, uh, and that's how it goes. Um, I become decent enough at composing without looking. I can place a subject in the frame where I want by just pointing the camera that way. Um, yeah, and it becomes a camera that kind of disappears in a way that the Leicas disappear for different reasons. Uh, you just stop, stop thinking about the camera and uh, get in the zone and you're just making photos and that's it, looking for moments and uh, and without um, being encumbered by uh, bad advice, I suppose. Anyway, so this is all the equipment I take on trips nowadays. Um, in the last trip though, we went to Paris last month and I was bad. I have the, the I just bought the 27 millimeter Fuji. This is the one with the aperture ring. And I wanted to use that, so I took the X-T3 uh, with this lens. Uh, the X-T3 is filming me right now. Um, and I just took it because I, well, I wanted to use this camera as well. Um, I said might as well. But uh, I had to say, I think my favorite photos from the trip still are coming from the GR and the X-100V. And probably the reason is that those are the cameras I most used to when I'm actually seriously taking photos. Uh, all the other cameras are kind of what I use when I'm fiddling with equipment and just looking at the camera, how well it, it manages it, how, how, how well it handles and so on. But, um, but when I'm serious about my photos, I'm, uh, I'm using those cameras and, uh, and I think that makes a difference. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with some of the photos I made during those trips since uh, I guess 2021 or so and let's see how this format works thank you
check out my photos on my website, juanbiller.com. And until the next video, cheers and goodbye.